Hi, in this video we'll be looking at how to update web channel layout content based on table row selection. In this example I have sales by territory and if we expand the tile we can see that we've got a number of different sections of the layout. What I've done is if I click on the sales territory the other sections of the layout are updated to show more details about that territory. For example, this row here, here are the customers and there are different variations of how we can display the data. For the exercise I have a simpler version of this report and it will look like this. We have two reports, one is sales by territory and sales by customer and just like before if we click on the territory we want to update the the sales chart to show the customers belonging to that territory. The key to this is to make sure that the names of the outputs match the names of the filters of the, of the other reports. But we'll cover this during the video. Let's move to Publisher where the two reports were created. You can see I have sales territory and sales by customer. Sales Territory was the first report that I created in Publisher. So I gave it a code and a group and a title. And in this example, I used Microsoft Dynamics Great Plains and went to their sales table from the list of tables that I could choose. These are the filters. Um, depending on the product that you have, the filters will be different. But I've just chosen an arbitrary date range and then I chose to output from the selection list the sales territory and the amount. To preview this data you can see it's just like in the report in the web. So that was the first part of the uh, report building process. But the important thing is that this sales territory output has a name. This is the name I gave this output which is sales territory. This is important because in the second report we're going to have a filter on sales territory and we'll give it the same name as this output. In this way we can link the two together and this value for sales territory will be put into the filter of the second report. So this is the first report and now I'll just switch over to the second report, Sales by Customer, to show you how this was built up. Just as before, I gave it a code, which is Sales Cust, and a group. And you can see here that we're back on the Sales table of Great Plains. And this time we have a few more filters. Instead of Sales territory has sales customer. Just so that we can debug the process, what I'm going to do is unhide the sales territory so when we try out the layout, we can see which territories are being displayed and we know that the link is working. Here's the important part up in the filter area for sales territory, you can see it has a description. But if we look at the name, it's exactly the same as the output of the first report. This way the two reports are going to be linked up. And the output value is going to be pushed into this filter value here. Let's save this report. I'm just going to take this title out because we'll cover this later on. So I have my two reports and let's start building the dashboard. So if we go to the first report which is sales territory and we go to the report tab and see that there's a section called layout. This allows us to build up multiple put uh, multiple reports and put their content on into one page. Just going to click edit you can see that I already have a dashboard built up. I'll just delete those and we'll build them up from scratch. The first 
item will be by default sales territory and if I click on new again what we'd like to do is make the second bit of content another report just go to the browser look up here we can select sales by customer so I'll explain these settings later on let's just view the report as it is now with territory and customer press OK and apply and I'll come back to the web page and refresh so at the moment you can see that sales territory and sales by customer both are showing their prompts and if I submit sales territory sales customer is just a totally separate section in the layout let's change that behavior go back to publisher and edit the layout if we go to sales customer what we'd like to do here is say display after the submit button is clicked this way customer will be delayed it won't be displayed until we click on this top section up here so let's try that out so that's step one so now nothing's displayed we click submit and then the sales customer section comes out with the territory but if we click on these rows nothing's happening yet so the next step is to say if we click the row we'd like that output value for sales territory to be pushed in as a filter to this report go back into layout and if we go to the top sales territory this is where use row selection to refresh other sections if we enable that press OK and refresh the report now if we click on one of these sections you can see that the sales by customer is just showing that particular territory and if I go to Australia and New Zealand it's just showing that territory so the filter values are being set correctly now we know that it works we can hide this column here or delete it and it's not necessary Let's just go back to customer and we'll say we can hide this column now or we can just drag it out and delete it so if I refresh that now you can see that it's just showing the customer name and amount next step um, instead of showing a table of results down here we'd like to show a graph instead so let's go back to territory and report layout and you can see here that we can override the type of content to be displayed we can force it to be a chart now by if I went to sales customer chart tab I can specify that it's a pie chart or a donut chart various different types of charts but by default it'll be a column chart which is fine for this case so I'll just say let's force that to be a chart refresh the whole page and you can see that the height of the chart is not quite right this is because charts will need their height to be set so let's go back in and go to chart sales customer and we'll just take off this auto height and we'll set uh, arbitrary height uh, let's say um, 300 or 400 pixels and try that refresh the page and you can see now that the chart is filling the screen nicely next I'd like to show the territory that's been selected it's highlighted up here but I'd also like to show it in the title as well so let's modify the report so that the territory will appear here 
So that's sales territory. We'll go back to sales customer. And you can see here we have report title. Just going to put in sales customer and just on the right we have a lookup button. And this is where we can inject things like date time, the user who's executing the report. But I'd like to show the filter value for the territory that's been selected. So I'm just going to open up filters and in here we have the from and to values for sales territory. I'll just use that and press OK, uh, apply and or we'll refresh the report and you can see now sales by customer and it's injecting the filter values into the title as well. There's various uh, uh, variations of this layout that we can play with. Uh, for example, instead of refreshing sections based on a click, we could just simply synchronize the content based on filter values. For this exercise, what I'd like to do is take this section down below and display it alongside the table at the top. To do this, I'll go back to the layout on Sales Territory. Here's the layout. And you can see this section up the top where the first report appears at the top and then the bottom report. Let's change this so that we have two columns in the layouts and by default it's saying that the first report spans columns so we just need to turn that off so that it doesn't take up a full row in the in the layout so now you can see that the first report will appear on the left and then the other report will appear on the right we'll press OK and we'll see what the, this looks like Now we've done this, we'd like the prompt area to appear all the way across the top and then have the, the content here and the chart. So we just need to change the layout somewhat. Go back in and edit. And this time I'd like to add a, a new section. I'll just put this up at the top. And I'd like to say that this section for sales territory is just used for prompting, only for prompting. And it's going to span the first row. So we'll have the prompt area, and then we'll have sales territory and the chart on the right hand side. Let's view this report. And you can see that we still have the prompting appearing on the sales territory section. We just need to now say just show the table for sales territory. So come back in and here we can change the content type, uh, sorry the media type from default to go straight to the table. So we have our prompt, a table, our chart and just like before with the chart we make sure that we only display the table after the submit button has been pressed so let's apply that and come back to the report and submit and you can see that the sales territory has only been displayed after the submit button and of course sales by customer and if we click on the table you can see the chart's been refreshed. As for alignment and the size of the table that can all be adjusted by looking at the attributes on the table tab. There are various other types of layouts that can be done for example uh, a menu of reports and having clicking on the menu item and having the report appear so those will be covered in other videos.